is this from Yay? He is currently unstoppable. True. He is just a consistent demon. El Diablo. Hey guys, it's Yay. Welcome to my course on Optimal Valorant Training. I'm going to be demonstrating now some angle clearing. I'll slowly come around the corner as well, making sure no one's on these off angles. Reyna stands out as the most all-or-nothing and hard-hitting agent in the game of Valorant. However, her lack of utility means that she can't assist her team unless she is actively taking down opponents. With that in mind, let's try to avoid going 2 and 18 by implementing some of these essential tips that you need to know to solo carry with Reyna. Besides, of course, the classic, simply click heads. Now let's jump right into it. Starting off by exploring how Reyna can effectively employ and exploit off angles. Off angles are angles, or more generally just places that you can play from to try and take a fight from an unusual position. Such angles are often devoid of cover or make use of changes in elevation. Reyna excels at fighting from such angles since her ability to safely relocate after securing a kill negates the main disadvantage that other Asians face when occupying these vulnerable positions. If you're standing wide, completely out in the open, crouching in front of Generator on Ascent A site, you're probably pretty much dead. But in the case of Reyna, you have the ability to get one and dismiss right out of there. Given that Reyna's value lies primarily in her ability to eliminate opponents, it's crucial for her to take these fights and win them. If you choose to play as Reyna, you must have the confidence to engage in these risky fights and the mechanical skills to take advantage of these positions. Ideally, Reyna should secure the first kill, and then use her E ability to either reposition to a new off angle, or in most cases even better, fall back to safety and join a teammate to regroup and capitalize off the advantage. However, just because your Reyna does not make you invincible, you can still whiff of course, and you gotta be especially careful for different types of utility. Off angles are inherently risky, and your demise is almost certain if your aggressive position is well known by the enemy. You're completely blinded by a KO flash, or even worse tagged by his knife and unable to dismiss out even after a nice one tap. Reyna's ultimate ability, Empress, can be a game changer when used correctly. Not only does she instantly heal from any kills, but it also grants her increased fire rate and reload speed. It's a powerful tool that can turn the tide of a game. It's best used when the enemy team is pushing into your team, providing Reyna with a boost in firepower and healing capabilities and the ability to relocate around the bomb site safely. Avoid using your ultimate in rounds where your team is in an unwinnable situation. I know we all love the clips of a cracked Reyna going 1v5 in her ultimate, but the truth is this rarely ever happens. Many players don't know this, but the best case for Reyna's ultimate is when you're on defense and the enemy team is pushing on the bomb site you're defending or when you're on attack and the enemy team is trying to retake that same site. Now, there are definitely other situations where unleashing Reyna's full power could be good, but Reyna best thrives when the enemy team is pushing into her and not when she's pushing into them. Enemies are not going to wait out your 30 second ultimate on a 40 second spike timer. And since she doesn't have a ton of utility to help her frag, but instead to help her disengage and relocate, her ult is super useful to take many fights in quick succession from slightly different angles as the opponents are trying to run you down. On top of that, her ultimate has a very low point cost compared to others, so don't be afraid to use it when you think the time is right. The worst thing you can do is hang on to your ultimate for an entire half, since at that point you could have already used it twice. As a bonus tip, using her ultimate can provide you with more charges of her Q or E abilities. So if you're all out of abilities and have three more opponents to deal with, it's usually not a bad idea to simply send it. Oh, and lastly, the Empress has the ability to make weaker guns stronger, giving Reyna an edge in rounds where every advantage counts. So if you got something like a Spectre, you can make it fire a whole lot quicker, making it about as deadly as a real gun. Our third tip revolves around the fine line between being hailed as the GOAT or trolling as a Reyna player. With her incredible aggressive capabilities, Reyna can rival even pre-nerf chamber in certain situations, as long as she lands her shots. Don't shy away from taking risky fights, and trust in your ability to secure those all-important first bloods for your team. However, one common mistake that many Reynas make even in higher ranks is not having a plan for peaking angles. For instance, imagine holding an aggressive angle on B main in Ascent or peaking pipes on Icebox A site. You must decide at that moment whether you'll secure a kill and retreat or if you'll stay and fight. It is crucial to avoid getting the first frag and then overstaying your welcome, giving the enemy a trade. This is what's referred to as defensive overheating, and the best random players in the world know how to avoid it. While confidence is essential, being resourceful is just as crucial in turning a first blood into a round win. As a Reyna, you should be one of the hardest agents for the enemy team to kill. Never give your life away by taking unwinnable fights, even if you just watch someone's frag movie. A Reyna tips list would not be complete without at least one mention of her unique flash ability, the only utility that she has that doesn't require a kill. Knowing how to use her flashes effectively is the key to making plays with her. Unlike other agents like Phoenix, Sky, or Breach, Reyna's flashes rely exclusively on constant line of sight, not a surprise full flash. This means that if the enemy doesn't see the flash, they won't be blinded. 
Many players think they can shoot the blinded enemy like they would with other flashes, but that's not the case with Reyna. When hit by her flash, enemies have two options, shoot the flash and risk being traded by Reyna, or give up the angle that they were holding. Skilled Reyna players understand their opponent's options and use them to their advantage. If no enemies shoot the flash, they move out and take and hold the angles that were previously being held. If enemies shoot the flash, Reyna can swing out and trade the flash as if it were a teammate. To be successful with Reyna, it's important to balance aggression with patience. Mindlessly rushing forward will eventually lead to some unfavorable fights, while being too passive results in little value. If you don't know where the best flashes are, you can always just flash above the angle you're going to peek. This way you know that your flash is not past an angle the enemy might be holding, and you're able to at the very least get out of main. If you're trying to take space for a specific area, however, and you are aware of any instant weaknesses, it's actually very good to throw your flash both high and forward to where you plan on pathing. This allows you to take a lot more space with each flash while also making sure you take as little risk as possible. Oh, and remember, the community may refer to it as a flash, but if we're being technical, it's not, it's a near sight. If enemies are playing up close with a shorty, they won't be affected as much, but if you're caught off guard and easily tilt, your desk just might. Tip 5 for all you Reyna players out there, it's time to break a bad habit. Avoid instantly pressing E and Q after every kill. Even though a dismiss habit might not seem so bad, the truth is, is that unless you're making a one and done aggressive peek, you're risking getting caught in a vulnerable animation and becoming an easy target for the enemy team. Instead, take a few seconds to assess the situation after getting your first kill. Leave the orb there and see if you can catch another opponent off guard. With the orb still on the ground, you have more options and you can take more calculated risks without the fear of dying. So push your limits and test your reaction time. If you're able to take down a second enemy, you can double dismiss to bait the enemy or heal and dismiss at the same time for a no risk full heal. Remember, the true skill of Arena player is demonstrated in their ability to make the most out of the orbs on the ground. So don't be afraid to take calculated risks. Experimenting and pushing your limits with Reyna is our number 6 tip for hard carrying. Reyna can do whatever plays she wants as long as she's fragging out. So knowing how to be aggressive and unpredictable is not only important, but the core of what it makes to be able to hard carry games. Reyna is not an agent that's designed to stay on the same site or fight the same angles every single round. She relies heavily on the element of surprise to ensure she gets out with her life fully intact. If you play Reyna on Haven and only play aggressive on A short, you're going to start to get countered and avoid it. You want to keep the enemy team constantly guessing about your position so that they're forced to use utility and clear angles with caution. This is how Reyna impacts the map on a macro level without having big disruptive utility like other duelists. The agent herself is the threat, so you need to keep that threat moving and be unpredictable. Our seventh tip emphasizes the importance of teamwork and communication in winning games. It's crucial to actively communicate with your team to achieve victory, yes, even if you insta-lock the most selfish character in the game. We've previously mentioned how Reyna's lack of utility can hinder her success, so collaborating with your initiators to keep you safe and provide kills can significantly improve your performance. To maximize Reyna's potential, it's advisable to pair her with initiators such as Sova, Fade, or KO. These agents provide valuable information that can help Reyna win fights. While Breach, Sky, and Gecko are also viable options, Reyna's lack of safety and movement in her kit may make it challenging to capitalize off their stuns and flashes. Request your team to utilize their darts, smokes, and mollies to clear out common angles that enemies may be holding and ask your team to shoot any enemy darts or drones when you go for an aggro peek. Even if you're the best Reyna in your region, you're still probably not good enough to 180 one-tap a dart that lands behind you. Quickly dispose of a drone without getting spotted and at the same time get your crosshair ready to hit a quick headshot before the enemy can react. Even if you are that crazy, there's always something about working smarter, not harder. As we conclude our video, we present our final tip, arguably the most challenging yet crucial one to implement. Reyna faces various limitations in each game, lacking both safety ensuring utility and vital information to prepare for fights. Therefore, it's essential to analyze the enemy team composition and identify viable plays. What composition you're up against should have a big impact on the plays you make. What works great against a Sova with a drone and a dart may not be as effective against KO with a large AoE knife and flashes. This tip holds significant importance on maps such as Split and Ascent in the current meta. Suppose you try to enter Cypher's bombsite on Ascent without proper planning or assistance. In that case, Reyna will trigger a trip and fall prey to an instant death. Similarly, running through Killjoy's microwave and B-Main on Split will result in a quick demise before you can even retaliate. Many players often blame their misfortunes on bad luck, or give up on entire areas of the map. Avoid this unproductive mentality, and think proactively by analyzing the round ahead. Determine the utility that can pose a threat and strategize accordingly. If Cypher's traps are a concern, request your team to use utility to break them before making your move. Or if KO's ultimate ability or knife is expected, avoid holding wide angles that may thwart your escape with the dismissal ability. If direct entry into a bombsite seems infeasible, try playing through mid or slowing down the tempo. By being mindful of the enemy's abilities and planning ahead, you can elevate your gameplay and secure more victories. And that's all you need to know. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. This has been your host, Sergeant Frost, and we will see you all in the next one.